I want to show you one more thing here. Here we have an aerosol set up that said 28% FI2 analyzed. We can take a close up right here at the air entrainment port on the air entrainment nebulizer. See that? I mean, it's working well. We have some condensation building up in here, but right now we're not having a problem and we're having a nice steady mist. Okay? Now I want to show you what happens. Now we've already, when we poured the water in, we saw that the flow decreased. And we already know that it affected the FiO2 where the patient got boluses of higher FiO2 than they should have. But I want you to focus in on the air entrainment port. On the nebulizer, when I add the water, watch the back pressure because it's actually going to spit water out. So let's back up first and I'm going to pour some water in. Come close now and look. See the water being pushed out? That's the back pressure that's being created by the water that is inside the corrugated tube. I'm going to get rid of it. Now look at the air entrainment port now. And look at my nose. So that water builds up in the corrugated tubing, causes back pressure, and I visibly showed you that even the aerosol that's being created, the large particulate molecular water that's being put in the gas stream, is actually coming right out of the air entrainment port. And it's spitting out. Which means that it can't be in training room air. And if it's not in training room air, the FiO2 needs to be doing what then? Going up. And as the FiO2 goes up, air entrainment must be going down. And if air entrainment's going down, that means the total flow output of the equipment must be going down also. And if it gets to a certain point, it's not going to meet or exceed the patient's inspiratory flow demand. So I wanted you again to see that part with regards to that, the importance of that air entrainment port, condensation in the circuit, and the importance of using something like a water trap if the patient is going to be long term, more than about 20, 30 minutes on the device. This can be a bag, it can be a cup, but you need to consider again that condensation that builds in here builds up in here as contaminated waste. Okay. Thank you.